नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अंकित पारक एंड आई वर्क एज अ कंसल्टेंट इन पीरियाट्रिक पल्मोनोलॉजी एलर्जी एंड स्लीप मेडिसिन एट चिल्ड्रंस चेस्ट क्लिनिक न्यू दिल्ली सो टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट एलर्जन डीसेंसिटाइजेशन और व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज इम्यूनोथेरेपी सो व्हाट इज इम्यूनोथेरेपी फॉर व्हाट कंडीशंस इट इज यूज्ड एंड हाउ इट इज यूज्ड वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो सो allergen immunotherapy is a form of treatment which is used for some children with nasal allergy or allergic rhinitis in some children with asthma and in children who have insect bite allergy or anaphylaxis now how does allergen immunotherapy work so allergen immunotherapy work like a vaccine so what is done is that the allergen to which the child is sensitized or allergic is given to the child in gradually increasing doses now as a vaccine does the gradually increasing amount of doses of the allergen would would change the reaction of the of the immune system of the body and produce tolerance against the allergen now this is a slow process and as time goes on and the immune system would change the reaction the body will will become less sensitive to the particular allergen and hence tolerance will come and gradually the child will 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 actually become better and we would be able to reduce his medicines and some children can actually come totally off medicines when we give immunotherapy now immunotherapy the basic principle as we have understood is uh, is it works like a vaccine now how do we know that to what allergen my child is sensitized that is the first step uh, in in prescribing an immunotherapy so if any child has persistent nasal allergies asthma food allergy or insect bite allergy the child has to undergo an allergy test to make under, to make us understand to what substance the child is allergic these allergens could be outdoor or indoor allergens indoor allergens principally are dust mites dog or cat dander cockroach and fungus or molds outdoor allergens are mainly pollens there could be food allergens which could be different in different part of the world they could be nuts it could be milk it could be egg it could be soya it could be it could be some fruits or dalis now allergy testing could be done in two ways there can be a skin prick test which is the best test to be to be done to confirm child allergies or there can be a blood test which is called as immunocap now once we do these test we would get to understand to what allergen is leading to the response in a particular child now once we identify a particular allergen uh, then we would go ahead and do immunotherapy against the allergen allergen immunotherapy may not be uh, equally responsive in all allergens the reaction would be best in children who are sensitized to dust mites or cat dander allergen immunotherapy might be good for grass pollens as well for rest of the things allergen immunotherapy may not be as good sometimes allergen immunotherapy might be done against multiple allergens together how is allergen immunotherapy done so allergen immunotherapy can be done in two ways one could be in the form of subcutaneous injections which is called as skit or subcutaneous immunotherapy here gradually increasing doses of the allergen are given to a child in subcutaneous injection form the other form of immunotherapy is something known as slit or sublingual immunotherapy in this condition gradually increasing amount of the allergen are given in the form of drops and these drops are given under the tongue and parents can administer sublingual immunotherapy at home so both forms of immunotherapy are effective 
but we have to choose our patients wisely. For more information on allergen immunotherapy, you can visit our website ankitbharat.com.